What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity John. Dima, ah, oh, come on, music! So, guys, we all know that Mr. Alan Roger Curry, from what reports have said, um, has passed away. Again, that's what people are saying. Um, I believe it to be true because this is a very similar situation to like how Kevin passed away. But Alan Roger Curry made a video um, a few weeks ago. Uh, actually, not even a few weeks ago. I believe he made that video. Yeah, um, not too long ago. And I want to discuss it because it was very interesting, right? And two weeks ago, the video, I believe, was called Men Should Never Take Casual Advice from a Woman. But I want um, the brothers out here to pay attention because uh, Alan Roger Curry was in Hollywood at one point and wanted to be a actor, screenwriter, and he was also a comedian. I want you to listen to what he has to say about how the world views men and we'll come back. The true formal definition of a slippery slope. Um, next thing on the docket. As I mentioned, also related to my last video about my screenplay. I have... I had... Uh, I've had three people who work in the entertainment industry. They're, you could say they're deeply entrenched in mainstream Hollywood. And two of those three people have already given me feedback. I mentioned on a couple of videos that when I used to pitch scripts, one thing that was very frustrating to me was a lot of studio development executives all they care about, honestly, is what's either one of these two things, if not both. What's appealing to the female audience or what's not going to offend the female audience. Hate to tell you, fellas, most of y'all probably already know this or assume that most studio executives, man, they could give a fuck about men. Like, really, seriously. I said it is for group demographic groups we're the lowest on the totem pole here's our movie executives basically look at if they feel like a film is going to be profitable is the film going to appeal if it's a family friendly film they care about is it going to appeal to children of both genders and teenagers of both genders children of both genders teenagers preteens and teenagers of both genders. That's mainly for your G-rated movies, PG-rated movies, and a few PG-13. G-rated movies, PG-rated movies, and a few PG-13. When I was little, they didn't have PG-13. That's that's a modern day thing. They, they didn't have PG-13. PG-13 is considered halfway between PG and R. They didn't have that when I was a little kid. So that's that's the first two for again mainly for family friendly movies. Is this going to be appealing to children of both genders and preteens and teenagers of both genders? Then when it comes to more adult oriented films, they care about is it going to be appealing to women and or is it not going to be offensive or not offensive to women? Um the least demographic they care about is adult men. Honestly, seriously. The least demographic, and I'm generalizing, there might be you know a few student executives that are exceptions to this, but if I'm generalizing, the vast majority, the vast majority of movie studio executives could give a flying fuck about what's appealing to men. If you want to make a movie where your target demographic is adult men, that's your primary demographic and, and maybe your, even your exclusive demographic, then you're going to have to finance that film yourself. You don't have to become an independent filmmaker and get financing for it yourself. Because studios not going to finance that movie. There's a 98, 99% chance 
the studios are not gonna finance your movie. So guys, you heard what he had to say. Now this video that I'm dealing with right now is on November the 12th. This was just maybe three weeks ago, his last video on YouTube. I don't know what happened to his health, but he makes a, he makes a great point. Men are looked at in the least in most of the industries there. People, when you look at scripts, what do they look at? They look at number one, is it for kids? Is it for women? Does it offend women? And when you look towards men, there is nothing that is for men. Okay. And now let me talk about that because we have a twofold problem here. Number one, men are being neglected. Number two, there are no entrepreneurs serving a uh, men in the way that they can participate to build industries that will uh, suffice the interest of men, be it white men or be it black men. And I focus more, more, more of my content on black men. So I'll, I'll start there. So this opportunity that Alan Roger Curry is describing because he tried to deal in the Hollywood space and could not get into the space for real. He still was trying to submit scripts before he passed away, still having issues. And then obviously we have these woman Kings and we have the Wakanda forevers. You know, these are some of the things that a lot of the guys uh, don't like because it makes men look bad in a disparaging way. So then the question becomes, what are men going to do to represent them in the way that men want. And that is something that we have to do, right? We have to do it. That is what our job is. And that is why you saw the Manosphere even um, coming apart, not coming apart, but coming into fruition in the first place. Because why? Men were not creating the products that men really needed. And there lies the opportunities. Because why? You are not going to get anything from Hollywood. I hear guys complaining. I hear guys saying, you know what? It's not fair how they're making black men look or how they're making men look. It doesn't matter. If you don't do the work, if you don't do it yourself, you're not going to see it. Men have to be honest with themselves and build the utopia that they want to see. Everything from their own comedies, everything from their own TV shows, everything from their own dating and matchmaking. Everything must be built by black men or men in general. That's the opportunity that we have. And we have to find a way for our people, for men in general, black men, and specifically in my case, to want to support our efforts and to bring the industry together. Just like Tyler Perry did it with women, just like these other people. And then people will pay attention, but we're not going to do that if we don't invest into the talent. Now, I know what guys are going to say. A lot of guys are spending a lot of money in the Manosphere communities, um, especially in YouTube. And to be fair, uh, we, there, there could be some criticism because a lot of the a lot of the Manosphere content has not evolved into what you see professional studios uh, creating. And that's something that could be discussed. But the opportunity is there. We have to be the ones to create our own industries. Look at Nollywood. Listen, Hollywood was never going to come into Nollywood and say, hey, okay, you know, there's a market, so we're going to create Nollywood scenes, you know, with, with, with Nigerians. No, Nigerians came about, created their own entertainment industry. They developed it. It got better. Now we're talking about Nollywood as like one of the six or seven biggest movie markets. Anything that you want to have done, you're going to have to do it themselves. And before Alan Roger Curry passed, he dropped a gem for us that we need to take into consideration. Women are not going to help your problems. The government is not going to help you in your problems. You know, I, I heard, I believe, like uh, Dr. T.S. Johnson, I saw him on Facebook. There was a black woman getting a scholarship and he was like, where are the scholarships for black men? And you're just not going to get it. You're not going to get it unless you provide it yourself. And that's something that we have to be OK with. Whatever that we want to see, we're going to have to provide it ourselves. And then once you provide it yourself and prove that you have a market, then others come. But we have so much competition amongst men. We have so much, um, you know, backbiting amongst men. A lot of times women are blamed for some of the dysfunction that happens in communities. And I can I can see where some guys may be trying to come with. But, you know, in the manosphere, I don't see where, you know, women are just you know, tearing down guys in the sphere. That's not happening. Men are tearing down each other in, in the communities. Right. It, 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 we, we are we have not provided enough value for men to come out and support us in the ways that we should. And that's our problem. When we come out and support men and give men a good product, we'll also get women helping us. So Alan Roger Curry, 
I believe he's dropped the gym. There's an audience for what we what we do. There's a way to do it. Hollywood is not going to support it. You have to support it, and we have to make it feasible. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of A Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out. <laughs>